hey guys and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but don't worry i'm bringing you guys today a video that shows basically my quads and calves day if you follow me on instagram do you know i spend a lot of time in the gym but let's go ahead and get started and jump in on the first exercise so first we're going to start off with leg extensions and i like to do this on a seated machine and i find that doing leg extensions first really pre-exhaust the muscles and get it warmed up you will see me doing I believe I did six reps um, with my feet facing forward and then I did six reps back to back with my feet facing outward and then after I complete those six reps I'm going to turn my feet inward and what this does is basically it targets every part of the muscle head and it creates really great definition in the quads. Some tips I wanted to give you guys when performing the leg extension, especially seated, you wanna make sure you keep your butt in contact with that seat at all times. And you can do this by holding on to the handlebars and just really, really focusing on driving up with your quads because this will force your bottom half to stay down. And then also you wanna lean back. I find that when I lean back, it, it helps me do this a lot better. So the next exercise in my current regimen right now is always some form of a squat. Um, for the past two weeks, we have been doing pendulums, so we kind of want to switch it up just a little bit to give the joints, specifically our knees, a break. So today we decided to do the hack squat, and I've never particularly used this machine at my gym. Um, so I used no weight at all for my first set and I encourage all gym goers to do this If you are using a piece of equipment for the first time Try it with absolutely no weight just to kind of fill out the form and to see where you need to put your feet for placement And just to see what works best for your body type now for someone else their feet placement might not be the same to target the quads So you just have to play around with it and just kind of feel what works best for you so for the hat squats, we're gonna do four sets of as many reps as possible. Now for me, as many reps as possible ranges from eight to 10. Obviously, as I increase the weight, my reps are going to go down. But I always shoot for a minimum of eight, but if I can push myself more, I will try to go to 10. Another quick tip I wanna mention is making sure that you're keeping your core nice and braced through the entirety of every exercise you do. And a good way to do it with that squat machine is to keep your back flat against the pad. Doing this will help decrease the risk of back injury as well as back pain, because we don't want none of that. Okay guys, so next exercise in my routine is a form of a leg press. And I actually have really been enjoying this machine. I actually use it for my glutes and hamstring days as well because I feel like this machine really targets the whole entire leg. But to overcompensate the quads, we're actually gonna put our feet at the very bottom of the platform. And we're gonna keep our feet about shoulder width apart. And we're gonna push through our heels. Same thing with the leg extension. You want to make sure your butt is in contact with the seat at all times. You want your back flat against the um, seat. And instead of coming all the way up to your chest, so basically your knees coming up to your chest, you're going to stop right when you don't feel any more stretch in those quads. And then you're going to come right back down, keeping a slight bend in the knee. And with any pressing exercises, leg press, squats, split squats, anything like that you want to keep a slight bend in your knee to prevent injuries okay exercise and if you haven't already girl you need to start incorporating unilateral exercises into your routine to basically off balance um, when one side is stronger than the other now I will say if you do have a side that's stronger than the other please start with the weaker side first so for me my right side which is crazy because I'm right-handed my right leg is weaker than my left leg so as you can see I start on my right leg, which means the weight is being pushed up with my right leg. You wanna use that foot in the back as a balance only. Um, 
Of course, you're gonna have some force being pressed off of that foot, but you wanna minimize it as much as possible and really focus on that front leg. As far as the stance, for me, I'm doing a closer stance to target my quads. Um, with split squats in general, I'm pretty much quad dominant. I don't really feel this exercise in my glutes when I try to do it for glutes, so it works perfectly for um, quads. Last week, um, we did walking lunges, but like I said, you have to kind of adjust your schedule depending on how your body is feeling and i just really wanted to give my knees a break this week so the split squats suffice for today's unilateral exercise next up and lastly we finish off today's workout with calves my calves are very genetically small as you can see my quads are pretty massive and it makes my lower legs look really small but the calves are very much there and with the first exercise that we did at the very beginning of the video with the leg extensions how we did the different foot placements we're going to do those same exact foot placements with the calf raises and today i'm actually deciding to use the standing calf raise machine however if you do not have this machine at your gym you can do this standing um supported by a wall and you can hold the weight you know over to your side or you could use this machine over to the right which is a seated calf raise machine and it does pre pretty much the same thing i just like to switch it up a little bit but as you can see my feet are pointed outward and what you do when you do calf raises you want to go slow and controlled and you really want to get a full stretch at the bottom Unfortunately, this clip right here, the machine was not adjusted well for me to do that. So I will show you guys in the next clip um, what I mean when I say get a full stretch. With the calf raises, I typically try to push myself to do three sets of 15. And for me, the calf raises are typically like a burner exercise. So if I can push myself to do more, I will, as long as my form is not compromised. So what I mean by 15 reps is I will do five reps with my feet facing forward and then five reps with my feet facing inward and then another five reps with my feet facing outwards. There is no particular order that I do it in. I just want to make sure that I'm hitting every muscle head of my calf muscles. Okay guys, so here is a better view of how to do the standing calf raises on a machine. You wanna adjust the weight to a challenging weight as well as make sure that the height of the actual machine is good for you so that you can get a full stretch on your calves. So to get a full stretch, you wanna think about pushing your heels down as far as you can. And then once you reach that point of stretch where you feel like if you stretch any further, it's gonna break, you want to shoot back up and hold the exercise at the top for about one to two seconds. And then once you held it for one to two seconds, you go back down and do it again. And at this point, this is uh, the last set. I couldn't even make it past, I don't think, eight. Okay, guys, so that sums up today's video. I literally cannot believe I condensed that much content into eight minutes. Mind you, I was also recording content in like, what is this, portrait mode or landscape? No, this is landscape, this is portrait mode. I was recording videos in portrait mode for like Instagram and TikTok. So kudos to like legit full-time content creators because this is a job in itself. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't usually typically, I don't typically do videos like this. I usually just post like, reels or tiktoks which are like 15 seconds long no like talking or anything like that but there's a first time for everything but anyways i hope you guys liked it um comment down below what you like what you didn't like exercises that you do anything related to stuff that you heard in the video and hopefully i will see you guys soon but in the meantime follow me on instagram follow me on instagram but not literally follow me on instagram because i don't tolerate that so yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Deuces.